In this tutorial, we will show you how you can make a portfolio or gallery section on your WordPress website. First, you need to log into your WordPress admin panel. Here, you will find the option to add portfolio gallery here. Either you can create a portfolio category or either you can add a new portfolio category. Portfolio category will help you to make a specific portfolio or gallery for a specific purpose and you can add new portfolio item or clicking here now we will visit our portfolio gallery section here you will see the all the portfolio or gallery item here you see that we already have few portfolio or gallery item here now we will show you how you can add new click the add new button here also you can add new item by clicking here add new it is it is just like creating a page or post so you need to add a title like gallery gallery test one okay then you need to add some content here it can be uh, text or images whatever you want but we prefer text okay we will add some content here okay and here we will paste it okay so then you can you can assign this portfolio or gallery item to a specific uh, category so we are going to assign it for the gallery then you need to upload a featured image click here and now you need to upload a image that should be 400 pixel width and 400 pixel height if you upload a small images then your portfolio item or portfolio or gallery image will not be visible uh, on your website so it is better to upload larger images but the minimum size is 400 pixel width and 400 pixel height okay so we will select this image and it is already 400 pixel width and 400 pixel height that is the minimum requirement and it is perfect so we now click the open link and the new image will be uploaded on your wordpress media uh, library and then click the set feature image okay we are done we just have to click the publish button now so our new portfolio or gallery item or added and you see here here um, we have added a few example here how to use the portfolio gallery section you see that this is the uh, short code we can use for our portfolio gallery so we also have added uh, uh, some parameters or arguments for this um, uh, for this uh, portfolio or gallery plugin and that is the type it can be a grid view or a slider okay and then you also can add a specific portfolio or gallery item by IDs you can easily get the IDs if you visit here you see that is a specific portfolio or gallery item has its ID so you can copy the IDs and you can add those here also you have option to limit how many uh, portfolio or gallery item will be shown on your website okay then you have option to select the column layout for the grid view you have option up to show four column as a grid view but when you are using a uh, portfolio or gallery as a slider you can define as many uh, column as you want then you have the pagination option you know that pagination should uh, will be used for the grid view only 
by what the slider cannot show any pagination and category so you uh, uh, so you know that if you need to show a specific portfolio or gallery for a specific purpose then this uh, option will help you a lot if you visit here portfolio gallery and category you see that uh, for a specific portfolio or gallery you have a specific shortcode and here you see that the, that is the category ID and you can use this to show a specific portfolio or gallery on your specific purpose so it is really cool then you have option to hide the links so if you want, do not want to show your uh, links on the pages you just have to uh, define it as no then title whether you want to show the title or not you can do it here and here is the excerpt so if you visit our website on this uh, demo website well so if you want to show the excerpt content then you can also do it or uh, if you do not want to show it and you also can do it okay so we are going to create a page here and we will make it gallery text now we will use a shortcode like here first we will sh use a, a shortcode that will show all the uh, portfolio gallery item so we do not need this um this section uh, well uh, and we, we did not we did not add any specific values for these parameters so but it is still okay so we are going to publish this page okay so we will see all the portfolio or gallery in a um in a gallery view with three column and pagination on by default but you have option to make it uh, a slider so you just have to uh, define it here slider okay update that page and if you visit refresh your website and you see that it is a slider with the three column by default and with a title exact and everything is uh, by default so if you want to show uh, four column instead of threes so you have to define the column here I'm going to add five column and click the update and if you refresh your website you see that the five column is here and if you do not want to show the exact content here uh, this is the exact content and you see that it is the link level okay so if you do not want to show the excerpt so just make it no and if you refresh your website you see that the excerpt were gone so you do have the total flexibility while creating a portfolio uh, portfo uh, portfolio uh, page with this uh, with the help of this uh, plugin also when you are using to make a um, to show a specific portfolio or gallery item on a page you can you can choose this uh, slide uh, this shortcode it also has the same ability just like this one so uh, I, I also show you here so you see that it is the it is the um, it, it is the specific portfolio or gallery that is under the specific category and it is uh, the type is slider okay now we will update this page and if you refresh our website you will see that we do have one moment let me refresh the website correctly okay so you see that uh, we do have three uh, another 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 uh, slider with a specific portfolio item items so we also can make it grade view if I, we just um, change the type to grid and if we refresh our website 
will see that it is uh, it appeared as a grid and the same functionality you can apply here whether uh, it, will, uh, it will be a slider or a grid view the limit that will limit the content uh, content how many uh, portfolio item will be shown on your website and the column for the grid view you can use up to up to four column but for, but when you are using a slider you do have the uh, option to make as many column as you want and if you do not show uh, do not want to make your portfolio items clickable uh, I mean you do not want to uh, you do you want to remove the link you just have to make it no okay and it should be great I'm going to remove the other one okay so if we update our page and refresh this page we'll see that uh, it is not clickable so it is really cool and you do have the full flexibility how your slider put uh, for uh, gallery uh, uh, cursor slider or uh, portfolio or uh, item or a image gallery will be appeared on your website so you see that we do have the four column here and uh, as um, the maximum number for the uh, grid view is four but we can make it two and update this uh, page and if we refresh our page you see that the two column view is enabled and you do have uh, the presentation on on for this page and if you do not want to show the presentation just make it no and add the space and one moment let me refresh now okay so you see that the presentation will come okay and you see that it is really cool to showcase your portfolios very attractively and whether it can be a grid view or a slider it is, it is up to you also you do have option to make separate portfolio or gallery item uh, using the portfolio gallery features and uh, you can show them whether it should be a slider or grid view actually um, under the east, east uh, portfolio or gallery item we have added a uh, good example for the uh, shortcuts that can be used and it is really cool thank you very much